Hi guys and welcome back to Stardust Silicon again. I'm Joanne. Um, excuse my bad weather, I just thought I'd come outside and do this one today, but I think we're about in for a storm in the near future. Um, so for a long time I've been working on this dragon. Um, I made a small dragon to start with. Here's my little 12 inch baby dragon who's very very sweet and, and hand sized dragon. So you can see she cuddles up in your hands there. But the plan was always for me to make a big, full-sized, really sick baby dragon. I spent months and months sculpting this dragon and then I made a mould and I had mould issues. So I've wasted about a thousand dollars all in so far on this on this dragon in, in silicon supplies. But what I found when I've made her is she's just too long. Her neck's too long, her body's a bit too long, she's a bit too floppy compared to the little one. The wings that I'd made her are way too big and they're going to be far too, far too, too big for her. So this one was about 26 inches long in total by the time we got down to the end of her tail. So I pulled the clay back out and I've resurrected the bits I can from her original sculpt and I'm going to be cutting those down and trying to make her into a still same size but, well, not same size, <laughs> going to use the same size head and so on but we're going to shrink her back down make her a bit more of a manageable size and hopefully make a new mold which will then give us a baby who we can actually pour and sell so i'll show you a bit more of the process of that as we go along i'll start cutting down my mold soon so the little guys are already still available but the the big big babies hopefully will be coming in the next few weeks as i get through this process I think she's gorgeous, but we'll wait and see what everyone else thinks when she's done. Thanks a lot. Bye. So here's what I've been able to resurrect of my clay to restart this. As you can see, I've already taken out a chunk here, but I think she's still going to have to end up being a bit shorter in there. I'll probably make her tummy a bit fatter too. If you see that in comparison with the original one, oh sorry, the, the first sculpt, you can see how much shorter she's going to be really in the body already and the neck I think that neck is just a bit too long and unwieldy so that's the plan for today is to try and get some of that body remapped out and try and fix up the bits that I wasn't so happy with on the first one so I've just taken a bit more out of here but I'm looking at the proportions of the little one that I did originally and you can see that the neck wasn't very long and the head was a lot sort of broader than what I've got on the, the big one that I've made so I think I'm going to elongate that snout a bit and increase this bit here at the back of the well this bit here at the back of the neck a bit more so that I get a bit more of that shape that I had in the original one obviously the horns have been lost on this one so I have to redo the horns I'll do all of that before I restart on the arms and the, the legs on a Let's try and get this face right first. This one looks a little bit, a little bit too babyish for my liking, I think, compared to the, the little one who was a bit more fierce. So I think we'll do some major surgery on that face now and see if we can fix it up to be a bit more in keeping with what the original vision was. Stay tuned for more updates. I'll start out here by just changing the eyes. They were more front facing. I'm going to open them out a bit more. As you can see, I'm starting to do with that one and make them a bit more side facing, a bit more reptilian rather than baby okay, baby. So now I've reshaped her eyes and you can see they go a lot further around the outside. I need to do a bit more work around that. Winding those back into the face on that side. But I think she also now needs some eyelids. So next phase will be to add some eyelids. Okay, so I've just fixed some of that symmetry around the eyes. This eyebrow was nowhere near the same as this one. And tried to get them set a bit more reasonably. Now I think I need to do something about this nose. It's a little bit too stubby and a bit too a bit too babyish, babyish and not enough dragonish. So I think I'll make that nose a little bit bigger maybe give her a little bit of a horn we'll see how that goes so I've played around and I've made his nose a fair bit or her nose a fair bit longer added the little horn I'm not sure about the horn yet but I'm thinking it's cute not entirely sure whether it will stay or whether it will go and trying to get rid of the number of 
these lumps on the head there was an extra row in between but I think I'll work that back so it's just three rather than five rows of those there so she's starting to come together again hope you liked it if you've liked this video please like follow um, I've got my Facebook account which is Stardust Silicon I've also got a web page Stardust stardustsilicon.com and obviously this um, YouTube account. So please like, follow, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.